Even the most loving cat parents have to admit it. Our cats are little weirdos. You might think you've got a pretty good handle on your kitty's behavior most of the time, but then they go and do something completely crazy and you're stuck asking yourself, why does my cat do that? In this video, we're going to look at 10 of the weirdest things our cats do and explain some of what's going through their little furry heads when they do them. But before we dive in, why not click the subscribe button and join our feline loving community for more videos on how to understand your cat. Number 1. Following you to the bathroom. You know the feeling. You're heading for the bathroom to take care of business or have a quick shower when you notice your fuzzy friend is following you. Why are cats so obsessed with joining us in the bathroom? Don't they understand privacy? Well, you need to understand that cats are not huge fans of sudden movements or unpredictable behavior. They love their humans, but we're grabby and tend to move around a lot and we're so big and loud. So what's the one situation where a human can be guaranteed to just sit still and let their kitty come to them? when they're on the toilet. Strange as it may seem, for your cat, this makes it the best time to ask for pets. When it comes to your cat wanting to join you in the shower, meanwhile, the answer may be a whole lot simpler. Despite the popular idea of cats hating water, some breeds like Bengals or Turkish Vans can be huge fans of it. To these kitties, your shower is like a personal private water fountain. What could be more fun? Number two, running around the house. When you're woken up in the middle of the night by that noise, you know your kitty has a case of the zoomies. There's a few reasons why your cat can start scampering up and down the house at high speed. Maybe something spooked them. Maybe they just had a sudden burst of energy. It's normal for your cat to engage in this kind of behavior occasionally, but if they're doing it a lot, it can be indicative of a problem. Maybe start introducing some more active play sessions into your kitty's routine to work off their energy or check to make sure that there's nothing regularly freaking them out. Number three, showing off their butt. Face full of cat butt. We've all experienced it. And what's worse is when they lift up their tail to give you a better view. Why on earth do our cats think we want to see their butts? Gross as it may sound, they probably want you sniff them. Much like dogs, cats gain information about each other by sniffing each other's butts. It's a perfectly normal feline greeting, even if it's not one you'd particularly want to participate in. Raising their tail, meanwhile, is a completely different part of cat body language. Tails are a big tool of kitty communication, and lifting a tail up means that your cat is happy and confident. Number four, showing off their tummy. You ever walk into a room and see your cat just flop onto their back? What's up with that? Are they tired? Are they on catnip? You probably know they're not asking for tummy rubs, as most cats will get out the claws if their owners try to pet their belly unexpectedly. While some cats can enjoy a good tummy rub, in cat body language, showing your belly is a sign of extreme trust. A cat's soft tummy is the most vulnerable part of their body, and showing it to you is their way of saying that you make them feel confident and safe. Small wonder they can get grouchy when you respond by disrespecting their personal boundaries. Number five, eating grass. You know your cat eats meat. You're the one who buys the cat food. Maybe you've even seen them catch and eat a mouse or two. And yet, you just looked out the window and saw them nibbling on grass like a cow or a sheep. Did they forget they're a carnivore? Not exactly. There's a common myth that cats eat grass to make themselves throw up as a cure for stomach upsets. But the actual reason is a lot simpler. Despite being carnivorous, there are some nutrients that your kitty can only get from eating plants. In the wild, your cat would get this from plants left in the stomachs of their prey. But on a diet of dry food, they may have to improvise. It's very important not to let your cat eat house plants, not just because it can ruin the plants, but because it can make them sick. For indoor cat owners, it might be worth growing a patch of cat grass in your home so your kitty has something safe to munch on. Number six, making biscuits. Ouch, ouch. You were getting ready for some happy lap time with your cat when they started pressing their paws into your thigh with their claws out. Are they mad about something? Do they want to hurt you? Of course not. 
Kneading or making biscuits is actually your cat's way of showing that they love you. Your cat would have done this to their mother when they were a kitten, as a way of getting her to produce milk. Your kitty doesn't think you're about to start lactating, but this is their way of letting you know that they think of you as their mommy. Number 7. Sitting in Boxes If they fits, then they sits. If you leave a box lying around in your home, then chances are you'll come back to find your kitty nestled inside. Cat parents often find that if they splash out and buy an expensive present for their pets, they may find it abandoned in a corner while their cat plays with the box. What's so special about boxes? Well, in the wild, your cat would have to regularly face off against predators that want to eat them. Their life would depend on their ability to stay hidden from sight. Even though in the modern day our pampered house pets shouldn't be dealing with any predator scarier than a vacuum cleaner, those instincts are still there. The high walls of a box allow your cat to feel safe and hidden from view, while the open lid lets them peep over the top to keep an eye out for danger. Number 8. Giving Gifts You wake up in the morning, you sit up, you roll out of bed and… you. Feel something soft and furry beneath your foot. Your cat's idea of a good gift usually isn't the sort of thing you'd put on your Christmas wish list. Dead mice and birds are obviously disgusting to us, but to your cat, they're a yummy snack. Mother cats will bring their kittens dead or dying prey to help them learn how to hunt. And feral cats without owners will bring food to other cats who are injured or nursing and can't get it on their own. Your cat is bringing you gifts because they're worried you can't bring down your own prey and want to make sure you don't go hungry. Number 9. Drinking from Faucets Despite having a fresh bowl of water every day, your kitty likes nothing better than standing underneath the faucet and drinking the water before it runs into the sink. What is it about running water that makes it so delicious for your cat? The answer, once again, lies in your feline friend's wild past. Back in the wild, your cat would have to find their own water to drink, and it would be their responsibility to make sure it was clean and not likely to make them sick. Running water, like in streams and rivers, tends to be cleaner than still water, which can become stagnant. Your cat shouldn't have to worry about the water in their dish making them sick, but their ancient instincts tell them that the water from the faucet is safer to drink. Number 10. Sitting up high. If you lose track of your cat in the home, you might want to try looking up. Cats often like high places, whether that's on a cat tree or an actual tree or the top of a high shelf. Some cats even enjoy using their humans as climbing frames, riding around on their shoulders to stay in the air. What's so great about being high up? It allows your cat to survey their territory while staying off the ground. Cats like to know what is going on in their homes, to keep an eye out for prey strange cats and potential predators. Your cat's spot on the top of the mantle is like their own little watchtower, allowing them to see what's going on and stay out of reach of anything that might want to hurt them. Now you've learned about your cat's weird behaviors, why not find out about some things that you do that make your cat think you're a weirdo? Check out this video for six things cat owners do that their cats secretly hate.